Nannying for someone as rich and famous as Kim Kardashian may seem like a dream job, but actually, it's serious business. Lots of rules, lots of pressure. So what is life really like for Kim's nannies? North tried to bite my nanny. Number one, it's a long-term commitment. Being Kim's nanny isn't a temporary job that you can quit in a couple of months. Kim wants the people she hires to be with her family for the long haul. Unlike Courtney. Last year, the sisters clashed after Courtney allegedly yelled at Kim's nanny in public for something she said to Rain. The nanny told Kim she felt degraded, so Kim confronted Courtney. When Courtney replied that the nanny would no longer be allowed around her kids, Courtney, you can't even keep a nanny. It's a clear reference to Courtney's nanny quitting after getting scratched by daughter Penelope in 2019. Penelope scratched her face. Obviously, Kim and Courtney's approach to nannies is totally different. A source told People that Kim's nannies have worked worked for her for a long time, and she treats them like family. Number 2. The Audition Nannies who work for Kim need to go through an intense vetting process. These are the Kardashians, after all. They're not just going to let anyone into their inner circle. Potential nannies are given a background check before sitting through multiple interviews with an agency. Once a couple of nannies get past this round, they're finally brought in to meet Kim and her children. This is their audition. And it's not just to see how the nanny gets along with Kim and her children. It's also held to examine the candidate's personality, intelligence, and how they present themselves. Only the very best will get the job. Number 3. No reality show appearances If you think becoming Kim's nanny is a shortcut to reality TV fame, think again. Nannies aren't actually allowed to appear on Keeping Up With The Kardashians or The Kardashians. If viewers ever do spot a nanny, their faces are either cut out of the shot or completely blurred. That's because Kim doesn't want her nannies to have ulterior motives. They're there to help take care of North, Chicago, Saint, and Somme, not to become celebrities or influencers. Strict? For sure. But it makes total sense. The kids' well being and safety are the number one priority. Number four, totally confidential. If you love to gossip about work, maybe being Kim's nanny isn't for you. Like the reality show's behind the scenes production crew and every single person on Kim's staff, nannies are required to sign non disclosure agreements before they get hired. And it's not just because Kim doesn't want unflattering stories or family secrets leaking to the press, it's also about her and her children's safety. Number 5. Salary If you're still interested in becoming Kim's nanny, you'll probably want to know how much they get paid. Back in 2018, it was reported that Kim and Kanye paid each of their nannies $100,000 every year. And they have at least four nannies, one for each kid. And while that may seem like a lot of money for childcare, it's actually not that much when you know that, together, Kim and Kanye are worth billions of dollars. But the couple know that paying their staff well means hard work and loyalty, so it makes sense that the nannies are getting a six-figure salary. Number 6. Be Flawless no one's perfect, but Kim's nannies are expected to be as close as humanly possible. Kim is a busy superstar and business mogul, and nannies are expected to fit in like a well-oiled machine. It's said that Kim's nannies must know every single detail about their boss and her schedule, so they don't get in the way. Nothing can be out of place for even a moment, and every single rule must be followed to a T. Kim runs a very tight ship. After all, billions of dollars are on the line. This is definitely a position for an expert multitasker who is adaptable, punctual, and possesses an obsessive attention to detail. Number 7. Don't Question Kim If you have issues with authority, maybe being Kim's nanny isn't a great fit, because they aren't allowed to question their boss, ever especially when it comes to her parenting choices. Even if the nanny doesn't agree with how Kim disciplines her children, their opinion is completely irrelevant. They're there to do their job and not cause any drama. Everything is completely controlled by Kim, and she even gives the nannies a 20-page manual full of rules that they need to follow. Don't even think about bending them. Number 8. Be fashionable, but not too hot Kim's nanny can't show up to work looking like a slob. They need to have a sense of style. After all, they're representing Kim and her brand, and they're putting together her kids' outfits every morning. However, it's a fine line. The nannies can't dress too glam or it would be distracting. The same thing goes for good looks. Back in 2018, when Kim and Kanye were still married, an insider told Radar Online that Kim deliberately hired nannies that weren't too attractive. Apparently, she was worried that Kanye would be tempted to pull an Affleck. The source said she is not going to make the same mistake as other Hollywood stars and won't let her marriage go the way of so many celebrity couples. Number 9. 
no photos. Kim is the master of social media selfie, but her nannies are not allowed to take any pictures while on the job, especially ones of the kids. North Saint Somme in Chicago are stars, and a photo of them is worth a ton of money when sold to a magazine or even on social media. Taking their pictures would be a violation of the family's privacy and mess with their strict social media strategy. Kim goes so far as to ban cell phones during work hours, and it's not just about photos. She believes that if nannies are on their phones, they won't be paying attention to taking care of her kids. Number 10. No jewelry. After Kim was robbed in Paris back in 2018, she suffered from paranoia and anxiety about her and her family's safety. Kim did a complete security overhaul and vowed to never flaunt her jewelry on social media ever again. Kim has broken her own rule a few times since then, but her nannies probably don't get the same pass. Like many celebrity nannies, they're not allowed to wear jewelry on the job. It might attract the wrong kind of attention. Again, Kim's number one priority is keeping her kids safe. Number 11. The Perks Yes, there are tons of rules, but there are also perks. The Kardashians are known for their generosity, and with all the clothes and shoes and bags Kim buys, there's a good chance that a nanny might find herself on the receiving end of a hand-me-down. There's also the possibility that they might get to meet other famous celebrities that Kim hangs out with, or at least see them from afar. Even though it's hard work, most jobs aren't as glamorous as working for Kim Kardashian. Number 12. Don't get too close to the family. Kim may say she treats her nannies like family, but she values boundaries, and nannies cannot get too close with her or the kids. This means not intruding on private family matters, giving Kim her personal space, and knowing when to hold their tongue. After all, at the end of the day, these nannies are on the Kardashian payroll. Number 13. 100% Commitment and Flexibility just because Kim's nannies are expected to respect their boss's boundaries doesn't mean that Kim has to respect theirs. In fact, the nannies aren't allowed to have boundaries. They must be on call and ready to work at all times, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. This isn't your typical 9-to-5 job where you get to clock out at the end of the day. Life moves fast and furious when you're a Kardashian. Kim could suddenly decide the family is jumping on a private jet to Thailand, and the nanny is just expected to go. Clearly, this is not a job for people who value their personal lives. Number 14. Working Vacations So yes, the nannies do get to tag along on lavish vacations, but remember, this isn't their vacation. It's Kim's. They're there to work and must take care of the children at all times. In fact, managing kids while on a trip is probably more stressful than staying at home, where there's a routine that everyone's familiar with. Sorry, nannies. You'll have to book your own vacay another time. Number 15. Must Love Cleaning like her sister Chloe, Kim Kardashian is obsessed with everything being totally organized, neat, and tidy. She once told Self Magazine, I'm the biggest neat freak at home, adding that she thinks she was a housekeeper in her last life. So Kim's nannies need to make sure they don't leave a mess. It's a lot harder than it sounds when you're dealing with kids, and everything in the house is white. Like I cleaned out the playroom today, like that kind of stuff gets me. Being Kim's nanny sounds like a ton of work. Do you think you could do it for $100,000 a year? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more on your favorite celebs.